Hello guys, welcome to I think our third tutorial where we have built a little bit of something of our application and you are welcome to change the background or something but I don't want to spend time doing that uh, so what we have to do is now what we will do is we will work on the title fragment but before that I want to correct these uh, things here too so because we are we are using data binding so we have to you know inflate fragment game binding and we have to add late in it here we save this from the null exception okay Inflator. Okay, R dot layout. And what we have to do is return binding dot root. And also we'll just do the same for our score fragment but obviously here we have to write score and let in it for binding fragment score binding okay we are done now we'll just go back to our title fragment because here what we have is uh, our uh, edit text and the start button obviously we want to like you know uh, show this as our first screen and then we will go from here that okay uh, has the user entered some text then yeah enter the game otherwise like you have to enter the name first okay I'll just change the name to flag game and now we'll just go here what we have is I'll just take some variables here uh, what we have is uh, et name and text okay we have the button button start okay so what we'll do here is I'll see if first of all what I have to do is I have to binding ET name var name text if name is not empty and then I will Put this whole chunk view within the on click listener. So this is our condition. Or we can just do this if binding et name get text is not null. 
then view find nav controller and navigate to our id dot title to game fragment now if you are wondering where did this id came from obviously this gets auto generated once we create this path so this is action to game fragment or title to game fragment else if user has not entered name view dot find then we need to give them a toast message enter your name to start we'll just say the duration short and we'll just rerun our application the real magic happens in the next like game game fragment of because obviously that's where okay i'll type sam and it it takes me to the next fragment but if i go back and i type nothing oh it's still taking me there maybe i have to Yeah, see and now maybe because it's it does not work a little bit like Java most of the things are similar but concept are similar but uh, syntax is different so these two exclamation points are uh, indicating that it should not be learned none yeah yeah enter your name to start now it's working so okay so now what we have done so far is that we have implemented our uh, our button that takes us to the next fragment and we have also implemented the navigation so i'll just type here takes us to the next fragment and play game checking if the name Added text is not empty, and it must not be empty. Okay, so we have created the validation, and what we will do is we'll just prepare some questions in this tutorial, or maybe let's just do it in the next one. But yeah, what we have done is we have created validation to enter the game fragment, and I'll see you in the next one.